good afternoon group discussion as we all know is a very essential part of a selection process group discussion has two components or two aspects the content that is what you say and the process how you say and the non verbal forms a crucial part of the second aspect the process of the group discussion today we'll talk about this this aspect which normally is speaks louder than words and yet is often not taken seriously by students why body language is important well my dear friends body language reveals your attitude and your thought process the body gestures they highlight your interpersonal skills your rapport building your level of interest inclination and also your attitude towards teamwork the panelists emphasize and observe the manner in which you sit and how you respond during the group discussion i'll share a few important tips with you today which you should uh keep in mind when you go for your group discussions you know small things like nodding of head your eye contact uh moving of your eyebrows tweaking twitching of the nose your hand movements each and everything reveals some aspect of and about you so we'll start right from the beginning the moment you enter the room always enter the room with a smile walk straight erect and take small confident steps and sit on to your designated chair sit straight erect with your hands either on the lap like i'm showing you or also on the table with your body a little uh, leaning towards the table that's perfectly acceptable if you are sitting in the middle of the row or towards the center of uh, the row during the group discussion try moving your upper body and especially your head towards the right left look at the other participants or the team members uh look at them in the eye build up that rapport show that interest in them as well as the topic even when you're not talking just by nodding at what the people are saying reveals that you are a active listener you are appreciating their point of view and it shows your level of receptivity similarly when you move your hands please be aware yes you know the your hand gestures they reveal how confident you are about the content that you are talking about or your subject matter but please one thing that you should remember is don't overdo the hand gestures you should be aware of your space use them within the space for example i'll just give you an example um if i want to say right now i'm comfortable look at my movements in future i do not know what the situation of indian economy would be try avoiding you know to use your hands in this fashion don't spread them out too much because the person sitting next to you you would be obstructing their view and you will be invading their space that is what i meant by uh, invading the space uh most often than not students have a tendency of looking towards the panelists please avoid it and don't avoid it please do not look to the ob uh, observers or the panelists your concern is only with the group in which you are interacting similarly if somebody enters the room please try not to be distracted do not turn around to see who has entered the room your focus your goal is to do your best in that discussion so your entire attention should be there these small distractions again showcase this element of you know that okay you are not 100% into the group discussion i hope these tips would help you do well just again a reinforcement please take the non verbal very seriously because they reveal a lot about you and are much more louder than the spoken word thank you so much